So here we have the example for special probability distribution. If x is normally distributed with the mean is 100 and the standard deviation square, or we can say the variance. For the question, probabilities that x is less than 106, where we have the answer or the probability is equals to 0 0.8849. Find the variance. So here we have the title, mean as 100 and the standard deviation we have a sigma. So first step is to standardize the situation. So probability that z is less than 106 minus 100 over the standard deviation. And we have the probability 0 0.8849. Second step, simplify the situation where we have 6 over standard deviation is equal to 0 0.8849. Next, refers to the diagram. Then identify the location. Let's say z is on the left hand side. So by referring to the situation, z is less than 6 over sigma or the standard deviation. So here will be the region. So as we can see, the probability given is 0 0.8, which is greater than 0 0.5. So it means that for the half is 0 0.5 and here we have 0 0.8. So the location for z is not suitable. Let's say the z is on the right. So refers to the question, Probabilities that z less than 6 over standard deviation, where we have the region. So, for the situation 0 0.8, so for this case, it makes sense. So, it means that what we have to do is to find the formula. So, 1 minus this region, where we have probabilities that z greater than 6 over standard deviation equals to 0 0.8849. Simplify the situation. So probabilities that z greater than 6 over the standard deviation is equal to 1 minus 0 0.8849. So we write the situation. So 6 over standard deviation is equal to 0 0.1151. By referring to the table, and we can see that the value for z is equal to 1.2. So 6 over standard deviation is equal to 1.2. So the standard deviation will be equal to 6 over 1.2, where we have 5. So by referring to the question, find the variance. So the variance is equal to 25. Here we have the example for special probability distribution. In a production process of cup, it is known that on average, 40 cup have cracked in a every 1,000 cup produced. So here we have the situation. 40 over 1000 and the probabilities of cracking is 0 0.04. Find the probabilities that at most 3 cup. Having cracks in a random sample of 10. So by referring to this case, where we have the title is binomially distributed with n is equal to 10 and the probabilities of crack is 0 0.04. So the question would be, Probabilities that x and 3. By referring to the question, at most 3 cups. So means that less than or equals to. So by referring to the situation, what we have to do is to modify and we have a new formula. 1 minus probabilities that x greater or equals to 4. By referring to the table, where we have 1 minus for the probabilities x greater or equals to 4, it equals to 0 0.0004. So simplify the situation. The probabilities that x less than equals to 3 is equals to 0 0.3096. Second part. If the probabilities that no cup in k cup selected at random. Having crack is 0 0.12. Determine the value of k. So in here, the title is binomially distributed with n and 0 0.04 crack. So given the question, probability is that no cup. So means that x is equal to 0. In k cups, so means that the n actually represent the k. So the answer is 0 0.12. By referring to the formula for the binomial distribution, where we have n c 0. 0 0.04 power of 0 0 0.96 to the power of n is equal to 0 
simplify the situation. And C0, we have 1. Same goes to 0 0.04 to the power of 0, we also have 1. So we have 0 0.96 to the power of n is equal to 0 0.12. My suggestion is to ln both sides. So by using the properties of log, we can bring forward the n if we have log. So n is equal to ln 0 0.12 over ln 0 0.96. So the value of n is equal to 51.94. If we round up the situation, n is approximate as 52. So the value of n, it is actually is a value of k. Number three, find the properties that more than two cups have cracked in a random sample size 200. So x is binomially distributed with 200 as an n and 0 0.04 for the title crack. Next, we have the properties that more than 2, so where we have the value 2, more than 2, so x is greater than 2 as a question. By referring to the title, where we have n is greater than 50, so it means that binomial distribution is not suitable. Next, x is poisonly distributed where we have lambda as the mean, where we have np. Multiply the 200 with 0 0.04 and we will have the value 8. So by referring to the diagram, first what we have to do is the value of np must be less than equals to 5. So for this case, Poisson distribution is not suitable. Next, move on to the normal distribution with the lambda or the mean or the mu is equals to 8. And the variance is 7.68 where we have n, p, and q, which is 200 multiplied with the 0 0.04, multiplied with 0 0.96, and we will obtain 7.68. So my advice is express the situation in standard deviation square for the variance. So we will have the situation from the binomial to the normal. So do remember to have the continuity correction. So step number one, kindly have the correction. So where we have x is greater or equals to 2.5 for the correction. Second step is to standardize the situation. So where we have z is greater or equals to 2.5 minus 8 over square root of 7.68. Simplify the situation. z is greater or equals to negative 1.98. Next, by referring to the diagram, then the location then the region, where we have z greater and equals to negative 1.98. Next is to modify the situation, where we have 1.98 and we have the region on the left. So the formula will be 1 minus this part, where we have properties that z greater or equals to 1.98. By referring to the table, where we have 1 minus 0 0.0239. So as a conclusion, the probability is that x greater than 2 is equal to 0 0.9761. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.